Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Center's Vice, and welcome back to the channel. Maya and I are doing a herd check, and uh, sometimes you gotta do it in the rain, especially when you know you could have red dogs any day. So we uh, just saw this storm blast through, and I waited, and now it's calmed down a little. I say that, you can hear the noise, but the herd took off. As soon as it started, the storm came through and it had a good burst of rain, and I saw Big Joe out here all by himself, and I'm like, I'm facing the storm. That's what bison do. So we're gonna go out here and see him and hopefully it just doesn't come down again like it just did. So we're just trying to find a tight window. Let's go out here and check Big Joe in the herd. Hey, big fella. What you doing? Brought you some treats. Taking a shower? You look pretty right now. You look really dark. Look really dark. Your breath is terrible, by the way. Ouch, back up, back up. In case you guys want to know what bison do uh, when it storms or rains, they just stand out here in it. Get a good old shower, clean up the hide a little bit. Looking pretty. They actually look a lot darker now, obviously when they're wet. So uh, the females are all together and uh, Big Joe is out by himself. So now let's go uh, check on the yearlings and see how they're doing over there.
Good timing. Well, looky, looky what's in the barn. We have a little guest. Well, there you go. That's interesting. It's just trying to get out of the rain, I guess. Brooks would be uh, pretty excited to see this turtle. It looks like a red-eared slider, I believe. That's a pretty big, pretty big turtle. Yep, that's a slider. Going back in his home. Well, as you can tell, we are in the barn now. Um, <laughs> I am uh, after getting soaked and whatnot, so that's just part of it. I uh, I was really kind of curious what they did in the rain, and sometimes you can uh, see them from a distance, but I saw Big Joe out there all by himself, and I was like, I'm going to go have a look and um, get you guys kind of a, 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 some footage of, of what it's like in the rain with those bison. Um, after I drove off, they kind of went in the woods a little bit, if they do, but they there was trees out there but they uh and there's places where there's plenty of trees and, and the woods near the ponds and they chose not to um, even hang out around it and they weren't under the trees like those yearlings were in the corner all bunched up together so uh that's just how bison are and um, they don't have to hide under the trees or get underneath the barn so that's uh i guess that life in the rain is a bison okay so there's some things i've been wanting to talk to you about um, in the barn, and I had some requests from lots of uh, subscribers, is uh, the office. Some of you have asked about how's the office coming along. So what we did, in case you're just now following us, is we, uh, we have this loft, and got lights in it. But we've got this loft here. It's a 60 deep loft, and uh, what we did was we closed a third of it. So what we did was we closed a third of it and here is the third of that so it's a it's a 20 by 20 room and it's basically going to be uh we're going to treat it maybe like an office slash merchandise sort of place but uh we've got power here a shut off for we're going to put a mini split unit in here uh i've got to finish all the inside steel i've got to get it spray foamed i've got uh one little section here of sheet metal i've got to put in it looks like a Looks like a little chicken coop or something or a little uh, dog or cat door. But um, other than that, this thing is ready to uh, be spray foamed. And uh, let's go inside and I'll show you kind of what it looks like. Sometimes I just park the ATV underneath here and, and stuff like that and the chickens hang out in here. So let's go inside. Um, I know it's pretty loud with the rain, but I did get electricity ran for outlets. We got a light. Just a temporary light, basically. All right, see, so there you go. Just a temporary light. It was mainly for the uh, people that are working in here and some electricians and whatnot. But uh, so this is the office. Nothing, nothing fancy right now at all, of course. Here's the original side of the barn, uh, the loft side. And um, this is what it is right now. So next thing is we've got to get it you may not can even hear me in here so the next thing is we're going to get it spray foam in here and then we will uh start uh working on all the inside layout and all that we're gonna clean the floor up too dirty and then uh, this is a concrete floor we're actually going to keep it in a concrete floor and we're going to put a coating over it all your thing whatever you call it and uh, treat it that way man it is coming down again so obviously uh this is a nice barn it's a big barn they they built it correctly i've hung some lights up in here I've, uh, you may have seen me these lights up here um i'll put a bunch of these barn lights in i put some of these barn lights in here i'm learning to become an electrician but uh, i've got the skid steer uh daniel's welder from arms family homestead my brother-in-law and then uh some of the implements and whatnot goes to the skid steer but uh sam and i frame this up here this is basically going to be a tool shed uh, where we can put storage and just farm stuff. You know how that goes. Uh, Sam did put this door in for me, but we'll put all the random stuff that farmers have. 
and that you just need the tools and and uh, maybe feed and whatnot right in here so i've got to bring the sheet metal and put sheet metal in here that's the next thing on this we got a lot of space i may can even park the um skid steer in here because that door opens right there it slides open that way you've got an entry door there so it's pretty awesome but so what do we do on rainy days like this i obviously just went and checked the bison um so i've got a nephew you guys may know it's weston from Irons family homestead and then i have a uh another family uh friend um relative he's in high school his name's carson i had carson and weston over what i did was this barn was filthy the inside of this was coated with dust that is new sheet metal you can tell the difference in color that's new sheet metal because this whole thing was open it was wide open and uh, the dust would just storm in here and set on everything so that's one of the first things we did jake and cole and i we put that sheet metal up and here is just a pre-existing you can see the difference in color but it was coated in dust and we um, came through and uh, those guys i say we they power washed it and man, they shine this thing completely up. Take a look at this. Well, that may not have shined it up necessarily, but it made a huge difference of power washing these walls. And um, see, the great thing about uh, this barn is all of these doors right here, you got one, two, three, four doors that open. Um, these are a butterfly here, so it goes that way and that way. Awesome, huge doors here. Uh, but power washing makes a huge difference and you don't realize it until you actually do it and uh, This barn is getting cleaned up. We've hauled a lot of dirt out um, Of here because there was just probably maybe eight inches of just dust and dirt because the previous uh, Guy that was leasing this place. He was um, he was just basically storing hay in here. And it's a great hay barn but over time the hay brings in the dirt the dust and hay obviously and it just packs down and we found dead I had armadillo shells we got raccoon skulls in it I found all kinds of stuff in this dirt as we started dragging out of the barn we found lots of stuff in here and just dirt and hay packed down for a long time and so um, why am I talking so much about this barn is there may be an opportunity in the future Marissa and I are kind of been talking about it for a long time what are we going to do with this barn what are we going to do with this space yes we could put lots of stuff in it as you can see with the skid steer right there the new holland skid steer we could put a lot of stuff in here we could put hay in here but what we're trying to do is possibly create uh, some sort of space where maybe you or others or people can actually come here and uh, maybe see the bison and see the barn and whatnot and maybe create some event space uh, for us for like a bison hangout or a bison uh, viewpoint stuff like that we're shooting all kinds of ideas around and i'm sure you guys had plenty of ideas too as well but um we're kind of marissa and i are, are are have been putting a lot of thought into this and so uh, we started with the office because we needed a place to hang out really when we have brooks um, needs to have some heat and air. It's just a place up here at the Ponderosa that we have. Um, 
And then obviously I started building this tool shed. I gotta get the sheet metal hung up, like I said, but there are lots of ideas on what to do here. Um, obviously we sell merchandise, um, shirts, jerky, sell snack sticks, we sell meat, of course. So all that kind of comes into this. Also as a side gig, um, Marissa started a project that I'm gonna share with you guys. So I say a side gig, it's, it's pretty sweet because uh, when you pull up to the property, it's one of the first things that you see. And um, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome little touch here at the Ponderosa and she's done a great job with it. And Kevin's helped us out with that too. So um, I will show you that, stay tuned for that. So anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. We'll keep you updated on the barn as we start to progress through all this. And we'll let you know what Marissa and I are thinking um, and what we're gonna do here. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon.